it would be <gasps> reality TV show um, shows. Hi, I'm Alyssa. I'm from Australia and I'm the category executive for makeup and fragrance at Sephora. Spirit animal? I think my spirit animal will probably be a monkey. <laughs> They're really social and love to have fun and play, but also love spending time together like me. What's a typical day like for you? A typical day at Sephora is extremely fast paced. You come in, prioritize what I need to do for the day, check my emails. We also have face-to-face -face meetings with brands and then of course international calls too with our brands. Favorite beauty product when you were growing up? Probably the Lip Smacker. And it was, you know, the super cool thing to have at the time at school and everyone had them. My favorite flavor was the Coca-Cola one. I think as I got a little bit older, I loved mascara. So that was like my first real makeup product that I ever used. Perfect eyeliner or perfect lips? Perfect eyeliner. Major makeup concerns? I think my major makeup concern would be trying to keep my foundation and makeup looking fresh and flawless all day. I find that using a primer at the beginning of the day really makes a really huge difference. And I think using a setting spray makes it that extra special. What's your guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure would probably be watching reality TV show, um, shows. How much time do you spend on your makeup routine? My makeup routine varies. So when I'm working during the week, it's probably a 15 minute process where I will definitely use my foundation, my brows, I'll always use mascara and then a great blush. When I'm going out or I've got a friend's party, I love to use eyeshadow. I love to include highlighter on my cheeks on my Cupid's bow. I really love eyeliner too. It does take a bit more of extra time, but yeah, I probably spend a little bit more time when I'm going out. Paris or New York? New York. Beauty advice you would give your 15 year old self? I would give my 15 year old self the advice probably not to wear as much eyeliner as I did back then and maybe chill on the mascara. Pizzas or burgers? Pizza. Favorite foundation? My favorite foundation would have to be the cosmetics CC cream in the original. It's really lightweight and really lasts all day. I usually apply it with my beauty blender. I find that it's really easy to apply. It also has really great skincare benefits. It's got snail extract, which is really, really hydrating. It also has SPF 50 in it, which is super, super important to have in Australia. The sun is so strong and everyone's really conscious about that. It's really got everything in the one product. Favorite mascara? My favorite mascara would have to be benefit their real mascara. I really love it because it's really easy to apply. It doesn't smudge throughout the day. It doesn't crack or clump either. I find that it really elongates my eyelashes and really gives me that fresh look without looking like it's too much. Favorite lip product? I do love lipstick. However, I do tend to get quite dry lips. So I tend to go for a lip gloss over a lipstick. My favorite lip gloss would have to be Pat McGrath. I love all her shades, I love all her colors. It's really long lasting, it's quite nourishing on my lips and it never makes me feel dry ever. And I actually always get compliments whenever I wear them. Favorite brow product? My favorite brow product would be the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I cannot leave the house without the gel. It really keeps my brows in place. And then I can also use it to texturize my brows and make them look a little bit fluffy, which is the kind of look that I love. If you could have your own reality show, what would it be? It would be... <laughs> Follow Alyssa and her 50,000 hobbies and interests. Top five favorite products? My current top five favorite products would have to be the Nudies Matte Stick in Sunkist. This is a really multi-purpose product. I can use it on my lips, my cheeks, as eyeshadow, and it just creates a really nice look. I also love the original Beauty Blender. It should be a staple in everybody's makeup bag. It definitely is in mine, um, and it really gives an airbrush clean look. I also love the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. It's not too big and clunky, so I can take it around in my makeup case and it's really easy to use. And it also has those beautiful nude shades that is really suitable to my skin and definitely something that I love to wear. And lastly, my favorite would be the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Powder. It's not too shimmery, it's really light. It gives a really natural glow and I love to use it on my cheeks, on my cupid's bow, sometimes even as eyeshadow product that you think is really underrated? I think cleansing balms are definitely underrated. I love the Estee Lauder Advanced Cleansing Balm. I use it pretty much every day. It really takes off 
every bit of makeup, including waterproof mascara. I use it with a warm face towel to take off any excess and it just leaves my skin feeling really, really fresh and supple. As well, I think we're all trying to live a more sustainable life and this lasts for so long and you're not having to use any cotton pads or anything like that. Favorite account to follow on Instagram? My favorite person to follow on Instagram is Celeste Barber. She's an Australian comedian and she is the funniest person ever. She makes me laugh every day. Best beauty tip you've ever received? The best beauty tip I've ever received would be to use a lipstick as multi-purpose. It could be used as a blush or an eyeshadow, um, even on the tip of your nose. And I think it just gives that monochromatic look and it really ties everything together. Advice for someone who's just getting serious about makeup? I would definitely recommend to start with the basics. I think less is more, especially when you're first starting out. Your foundation, mascara, getting your brows right, and then a little bit of lipstick goes a long way. City break or beach vacation? Definitely beach vacation. I think the Australian side is in me when it comes to that. Um, I definitely love beach more. What are your top sun care tips? A 50 plus sunscreen. The sun in Australia is super, super strong and we need to make sure that we're protected. Sunscreen head to toe, make sure you don't miss your hands or your feet because they're definitely places that people tend to miss out on. Thank you so much, I hope you enjoyed. All the products I spoke about are online or in store now, so make sure you go check them out at Sephora. For more tips and tricks, please subscribe to our channel. See ya. Sephora.